What's going on there guys? Good evening. It is the Earthmaster here on the live stream with an update video on this uh, Tuesday evening, November 16, 2021 to date, about 5.20 p.m. California time. And the latest quake, a 4.2 earthquake happening out here in this area of the world around the Middle East. Looks like the Afghanistan region. Let's go ahead and check out uh, info on that earthquake just striking out there in Afghanistan. There's the latest map here from the USGS showing that 4.2 earthquake uh, in Afghanistan. Pretty deep movement here in this region a two, at 201 kilometers uh, below the surface for that uh, deep earthquake. But looking at historical seismic activity, no doubt this is a very prone area for some deep movement there. You can see 70 to 300 kilometer deep earthquakes scattered out and about uh, the Middle East area throughout uh, history, at least recent history. Looking at the rest of the map here, as we zoom out, a little bit of movement down in the um, area south of, what do we got here, Iran, right? It is Iran, just south of, uh, I'm trying to think of those names out there. I'm not 100% certain. I'm not even gonna pronounce it because I'll probably be thrown off or uh, mispronounce it. Uh, let's see what else we got here around this region. <clears throat> Some activity also over here. Quite a few fours kicking off in this region of the world. Pretty shallow earthquake activity. As we look over here to the east, seeing some quiet movement once again along the Pacific Ring of Fire, but scattered out and about through the Indonesia area. Some movement kicking up here in the four to five magnitude range. A little 5.3 in the South Indian Ocean. But further to the east, like I said, pretty quiet along the Pacific Ring of Fire for now. Just a small little 4.4 around the Kermadec Trench, Tonga Trench region. 560 kilometers for that earthquake that struck, uh, looks like some time ago. So overall, looking at the general activity here along the Pacific Plate, very quiet. Movement throughout the South America region, quiet as well. We did see a little increase in earthquake activity in the South Sandwich Islands with a 5.0 earthquake, the largest quake in this little cluster, or at least in the two earthquakes that struck within the last 24 hours. This one here into the subduction zone uh, at 57 kilometers uh, below the surface. Movement up here to the Middle America Trench region off the coast of uh, Guatemala, El Salvador. Some movement. Looks like a 4.8 and a 4.2. Nothing significant at the moment in that region. Up here in the North America, uh, United States area, we did have a little earthquake along the, well, let's see, it's a 2.7, pretty shallow earthquake there just west of Clear Lake along the uh, Makama Fault. Yukai up here, will it well up to here to the north? The 2.7, pretty shallow, it says uh, negative 0.4. Rest of Northern California looks quiet in the 2.5 department. We do have to go to the all magnitudes so we can see this uh, microquake activity out here. <clears throat> Pacific Northwest, awfully quiet. Just uh, eerily quiet, to be honest. Did see some further movement off the coast of Northern California, off the coast of the northern part of the San Andreas Fault. We haven't seen too much activity here in quite some time. Near Point Arena, California, 1.2 actually looks like a couple 1.2s uh, kicking off there, somewhat deep off the coast of Manchester Point Arena. As I mentioned, the San Andreas Fault System runs up here, northern end of it. There's the uh, earthquake there around Ukiah. It's kind of odd here. We're getting a little bit of movement inland following that earthquake activity out here. So uh, definitely some pressure here in Northern California. How much uh, remains to be seen? Some activity northeast of Cottonwood, Shingletown area, 1.5, 18 kilometers, some deep earthquake activity there. Uh, and also some earthquake movement uh, near the Antelope Valley region and over here around the Long Valley Supervolcano, just outside of it there, south of Mammoth Lakes, uh, where they had a 3.3 .3 earthquake as well, shaking things up there on the eastern crest of the Sierra Nevadas. Ridgecrest seeing some uh, movement there along that fracture area and also over here around the uh, Santa Barbara area. It looks like some movement there within the last hour, including a 2.0. Uh, near Montecito, some activity, uh, looks like some query blasts here near Mojave, 
But uh, no major swarming that I can see at the moment. San Jacinto fault area looking pretty quiet, or looking pretty active, I should say, up and down that specific fault area, and also towards the uh, uh, Los Angeles area, Riverside. All seen some small microquakes kick off there in that region of Southern California. Swarming, uh, not not a whole lot of swarming there in Southern Cal. Just some, uh, as I mentioned, some activity kicking up as we work our way up into the Intermountain West regions. Uh, cedar around the Cedar Utah area still seeing that swarm of earthquakes and uh, they're still on the negative side I still can't figure that out why these things are negative unless uh, most of the time regardless uh, if these are in the mountains or not these this would be in relation to uh, um, how far below the surface is so I think it would account for the elevation in the mountains but you never know I have to see what's going on with that Either way, still looking at a swarm of movement for the past week in that area. Just seen a little bit of movement here. It's been relatively quiet over the past couple days in this region, but today definitely a uh, larger earth or larger uptick in uh, swarming for the Utah area. Yellowstone National Park. Let's go ahead and check that out here real quick as we uh, check out the seismographs. Not a whole lot. Some interference over here along the Denny Creek West Boundary area. There's not any type of movement whatsoever. Uh, and this here is just some technical errors, obviously. This was indeed um, some, some activity, you know, whether it's volcanic or earthquake related. We would see that show up significantly on other stations there. But it uh, looks like it's uh, definitely blown out of proportion here and some type of interference. This here that is showing up here on the Masson River Purple Mountain re uh, regions look like it's... Uh, <coughs> wind related we see this a lot when there's some wind storms low pressure systems and thunderstorms in the summertime um, that give this type of reading throughout throughout the yellowstone area otherwise uh, earthquake activity just very minimal don't see a whole lot um, of movement hap happening there i'm not for sure what i just did there popped open another oh i see i removed that but uh, looking at the map here just not a whole lot on the usgs map of the one day all magnitudes we zoom into the Yellowstone area, you can just see a 1.9 looks like strongest in that little, just a little tiny cluster of quakes around the Yellowstone area. See what else we got here, folks. Uh, Puerto Rico area, seeing some movement once again, right smack dab on the Puerto Rico Trench with this earthquake ac activity. 3.5 at 40 kilometers. Southwestern part of Puerto Rico getting uh, some activity as well. See what else we got here rolling around the region. There was a little article put out here on um, um, La Palma. Things look as though, at least as far as this uh, statement goes, looks like things are kind of calming down a little bit. Um, not a whole lot of uh, significant change at La Palma. Not for sure where that went to. I kind of lost it there. I did have an image of it, uh, a little twi uh, little report that was put out, but uh, looks like seismic activity kind of increasing, but no end in sight um, to the activity there at La Palma. Looking at the USGS map, they don't show anything far as earthquake activity goes. Uh, I need to go over here to the uh, EMSC model to get a better a better view of this region. Let's see if we can zoom in here. There was a 4.2 Canary Islands that was uh, today, 36 kilometers. Let's see if we can zoom over here to this side of the map and get a little bit more detailed list of activity. There's definitely still earthquake activity. I'm not for sure if that article was uh, old or, or what, because there's definitely still quite a bit of movement, earthquake activity happening there at the Canary Islands. Um, quite a bit, definitely quite a bit. There are quite a few twos, uh, including, well, that was uh, Afghanistan region. Look at that 2.2 in Switzerland, Canary Islands, quite a bit of earthquake activity. So, you know, it's got these things like that could definitely continue for quite some time, folks, uh, as far as volcanic activity, and it can stop just like that as well. So, uh, just something we got to watch. No, uh, significant change basically to report on the uh, La Palma area. 
which is uh, good news for now. Hawaii, out there in the Pacific Ocean, still some activity ramping up around the southeast region and a earthquake right smack dab around the Mauna Loa area with a, uh, what is that, 2.4 uh, negative on the, three, on the map there. So I'm guessing the USGS, the way they issue this, I just think it's, I find it kind of odd there. They're not accounting for the, uh, for the elevation, which I thought they did. I guess where they did, but maybe they didn't. Anyway, uh, what else we got here, folks? A trimmer map. Let's go ahead and check that out. Um, right now, zero epicenters. Zero. Kind of an odd, odd deal going on at, at uh, the Cascadia. Things just kind of quieted out. Things on the sun quieting out as well. Nothing really uh, to report on the three-day geomagnetic forecast. Looks pretty minimal. And only a sea flare threat of 15%. All KP indexes and uh, stuff looking pretty quiet for now. So uh, we'll see if the sun wants to wake up again anytime soon. All right, folks. Have a good night. Stay safe out there. We will chat at you another time. For now, have a good night. Peace out, guys.